today. Uh, it is another lesson for dear Mr. Kilmer. Uh, this is a lesson for question and answer. Now, let's look at the question. Okay, the question is, write about an important incident which changes the lives of the characters around it. Support your answer with close reference to the text. So it is about, you have to write about an important incident which changes the lives of the characters around it. So let's look at the format. As usual, the format must have introduction where you can include the title of the novel, the author, and a brief summary of the story. And for content, you can have three paragraphs for the three evidence or reasons. And you can have the last one will be the conclusion. Now, the introduction. Suggested introduction is, the novel I studied is Dear Mr. Kilmer by Anne Schraff. The book is about a farm boy living in Iowa. After reading Joyce Gilmer's poetry, Richard Knight began a correspondence with a soldier poet about his own writing, even as he worried about the war in Europe and the way people treated his German-American neighbor, Hannah. Contents. Remember, you must have three evidence. Okay. Uh, the incident is the first correspondence between Richard and Mr. Kilmer, or it is the first letter that Richard wrote to Mr. Kilmer. So whose lives have been changed? Here we identify three, first one, Richard Knight, second, Hannah Schirmer, and the third, Adia Glassmates. Okay, so um, the brief explanation is, uh, Richard became braver or more confident and he read his poem in class where he shared his poems with Mr. Kil uh, Mr. Kilmer and also Mrs. Hansen. And second is Hannah Schirmer. She became closer with Richard. Uh, she had a friend in the school. Uh, she even gave suggestions about the lines of the poem that Richard wrote for Mr. Kilmer because she was already comfortable being a friend uh, to Richard. Okay, classmates. They respected Richard more and uh, because he was corresponding with a famous poet. Okay, content one. Mrs. Hansen read a poem entitled Trees that was written by Mr. Joyce Kilmer. One of the class bullies, Abner, tried insulting Mr. Kilmer. But Mrs. Hansen was quick to read out the article from the New York Times that Mr. Kilmer was joining the army. Richard had found a new hero and he quickly jotted down the address of the editor's office of the New York Times. After that, he wrote a letter to Mr. Kilmer. In the letter, he mentioned that he wrote his own poetry, but he kept it a secret from everyone. Later, he received a reply from Mr. Kilmer. Mr. Kilmer told Richard to not be afraid and share his poems. At dinner, Richard told his family about the letter. His family didn't react enthusiastically. Angie wouldn't understand his poems. Gus and Pa said that he would grow out of the face. At school, Richard went to see Mrs. Hansen to show her the letter and some of his poems. Together, they picked a poem to send to Mr. Kilmer. The first correspondent with Mr. Kilmer managed to make Richard more confident about telling others about his interest in writing poems. Okay, we move on to content 2, which is the third paragraph. The first correspondence also managed to make Hannah a better friend with Richard. Mrs. Hansen announced that Richard was going to read the letter he received from Mr. Kilmer. Some of the boys started insulting Richard. They read, uh, Richard read the letter out loud and read out the poem he had just written in honour of the soldiers going to war. Richard was worried that the last line was not suitable and wanted to amend it. 
Hannah, who had become closer with Richard, gave a suggestion to make the last line of the poem sound better. Richard complimented Hannah's suggestion. So you can see here that Hannah gave a suggestion because she was uh, uh, Richard's friend. Okay, the last content, content three, or the last evidence that you have to give. Last but not least, the first correspondence changed his classmate's attitude towards Richard. His classmates looked upon Richard's interest in writing poems as being sissy and had insulted him about it. But later, they began to respect him as he was corresponding with a famous poet, Mr. Joyce Kilmer. They supported him because they also had family members in the army. He gained their respect as he was corresponding with the famous poet, Mr. Joyce Kilmer. Now, the last paragraph which is the conclusion, suggested conclusion. In conclusion, the important incident of the first correspondence between Richard and Mr. Kilmer changed their characters for the better, like Richard who became braver and more confident and Hannah also became a better friend. Richard's classmates also respected him more for corresponding with the famous poet. Now let's move on to the second Incident, which is a different one that if you're going to choose, you can choose the Liberty Bonds program. <coughs> okay, whose lives will change? Uh, we can identify Richard Knight, Hannah Schirmer, and also Pa Knight. Okay, Richard became supportive because he supported Hannah by declining the role of Doughboy. And Hannah became considerate. Uh, she declined the role of Lady Liberty to prevent problems among the community of the Turtle And Pa, he showed that he was prejudiced or discriminating because he scolded Richard about declining the role. So let's look at the first content. We will skip the introduction because it is the same as what I did earlier. So content one, when school started, Mrs. Hansen announced that the class would put on a program to help give funds for the war and sell Liberty Bonds. One girl student would be chosen to play Lady Liberty and one boy student would be chosen to play the Doughboy and American Soldier. Both students would be chosen by writing the best essays about the topic, how can we help the war efforts right here in Turtle Lake? Richard started thinking and had an idea. All the students could write letters to the soldiers fighting overseas. It would help them not to feel lonely and homesick. He started writing his essay. After everyone turned in their essays, Mrs. Hansen announced that Richard would play the role of Doughboy. Then Mrs. Hansen announced that Hannah would play Lady Liberty. Everyone guessed. Hannah read his, her essay out loud, looking nervous. She focused on the need for everyone in Turtle Lake to take care about each other, no matter the differences between them. So still in content one, next morning, everyone at school was angrily discussing Mrs. Hansen's choice for Lady Liberty. There were even some angry parents that came to visit the principal's office. In class, Mrs. Hansen announced that Hannah had declined the role of Lady Liberty. Several students were happy about the announcement. At lunch break, Richard asked Hannah why she declined the role. She replied that she didn't want to start a war in Turtle Lake. It would be best for everyone if she gave the role to someone else. The Liberty Bond event had made Hannah a better person as she became more considerate of others around her. She wanted peace instead of war amongst the community in Turtle Lake. Content 2 the Liberty Bond event also, or the Liberty Bond incident also, made Richard a more supportive friend towards Hannah. Richard stood by Hannah and said that he would decline the Doughboy role too. Richard and Hannah went to uh, go and see Mrs. Hansen to tell her about Richard's decision. Mrs. Hansen was no longer ashamed of being American because of her two fine students. Content 3 uh, which is the last evidence. Last but not least, the Liberty, the lady, uh, the Liberty Bond 
Evan also made Pa express his tears approval of Richard. Pa had been very distant with his children. He kept to himself most of the time and never mentioned about his brother Roland who had died in the war to his children. After the incident of Richard who purposely misfired while shooting a buck during a hunting trip, Pa told him that he could choose not to hunt. But when Richard declined the rule of the doe boy, many people complained that Richard was supporting the Germans. His father lectured him about siding with the Shermans and how that meant he wasn't standing with the other people in the town. Richard's father said that Richard's poetry was filling his mind with foolish ideas. Richard became very sad after hearing this. Okay, now we'll move on to the conclusion. Suggested conclusion. In conclusion, the important incident of the Liberty Bonds event in the school changed the life of some characters. Hannah became more considerate of others' feelings and opinions. Richard was more supportive of Hannah, but Pa showed that he disagreed with Richard's decision and he was prejudiced and discriminating towards the Germans. That's all for today's lesson on questions and answers. Okay, thank you. And please remember to subscribe. Okay, bye-bye.